Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. Hope you are having a great day. I am not at the florist. I am actually inside of Sam's Club and you guys, these florals look absolutely amazing. I had to purchase myself some florals. So now that I got a little bit of shopping in, I am back at the house and I'm going to be grabbing all of the groceries and bringing them in the house. Recently on Instagram, I've been seeing a lot of posts about you know, buying your flowers, getting your flowers. And I actually love the trend. You guys already know I've been buying myself flowers. Even when I was in a relationship, I feel like, you know, the role that you play in your house. So if you want to get yourself some flowers, you should definitely do so. I'm going to say this. It's not as great as getting flowers from the person that you care about, but I will say when I walk into my closet or go in my bedroom and I see the flowers, it feels really, really good. So I would say, girl, get them flowers, okay? But now that I'm done, I'm going to go ahead and start putting up all of the groceries. I just got some stuff for the week, some fruits, some veggies, some seasoning. I will be making a little bit of dinner today, which you guys will see. But definitely some stuff that I could quickly tell the kids to go grab, you know, whatever out the fridge. Let me just tell y'all now, while I'm putting up these groceries, she finna snack too. <laughs> Cause that's just what I do. And in the words of Tabitha, that's my business, okay? So yes, I'm putting up the groceries and I'm going to be snacking along the way. And I'm gonna be putting some stuff up for dinner today. I will be making a low country boil. If you guys don't know what that is, it is just a good old seafood basket. But before I get started with that, I want to go ahead and prep my florals. These are actually going to go into my closet. I thought overall the size of my closet in my island, it would be really nice to go in there and just see the flowers. So that's what I'm cutting them for. And you guys, these pink roses are beautiful. If you know me, you know that I am so, so, so into pink. So being able to catch these at Sam's Club today was just amazing. And they look so pretty. And if you look at the base of them, they have a little bit of white. So I was definitely team pink flowers today. When it comes to the fridge, I really didn't get a whole bunch of stuff. I got some fruit yogurts right here, the watermelon. I have a plant-based um, Ensure. I just started drinking that. Don't know if I like it. Don't really taste of it, but hey, here we go. Um, milk, my delight and all that for coffee. And then I have some juice just so <laughs> when Kevin comes, he has something. The wee yogurts. I've got some fruits pineapples and all that jazz down here i have my spring mix spinach and also some arugula i have the sargento breakfast i didn't really get a whole bunch of stuff just because um the things that i am planning on eating i'm gonna have to probably buy them day by day which sounds like a lot but i'd rather get it fresh which is gonna be like a salmon salad probably like a small piece of steak or something or chicken breast and just use that to eat that way i can have my protein while I am uh, working out. And then down here, I have some stuff just quickly for the kids, some sweet potato fries, the um, organic chicken strips and pizza, the mini corn dogs. My son liked this, just regular. And then this ice cream right here, you guys, it is from Savannah um, Pops. It's called Savannah Square Pops. And when I tell you, it's so good. I recently got the, uh, the cheesecake, it's so good. All right, and then in this one here, I have some veggies that I can quickly just add quite a little bit of butter to it, pop it on top of the stove, and then I have some more, the pasta. I actually like this fish a lot right here. I don't know if you guys um, tried it, but the Gordons, really, really like it. So here are my flowers. They're so pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and put these in my room. I'm gonna go ahead and clean the kitchen because I am going to make a very small low country boil i got a couple things of crab legs a very small tiny bit of shrimp and what else did i get i got something else oh i got the lobster claw is what i got let me show you 
So here are the lobster claws, which are gonna go into the boil. And then I'm gonna add egg, sausage, and then the corn. And then I'm gonna make a very small side of rice because the boys like it like that. I'm gonna go ahead and clean the kitchen. Oh, I almost forgot. I have my fruit basket right here. It's not really a basket, but I got this large plate bowl serving ware from Home Goods. It's supposed to be used as serving ware, but I decided to go ahead and use it for my fruits. Um, there's orange, mango, apricot, bananas, and then green plantain, which I'm hoping turns into sweet plantain at some point. Apple, and that's pretty much it. So when I wake up in the morning, I can grab something pretty good to eat, all right? Now that I'm done with the groceries, I'm gonna go ahead and lightly clean up the kitchen. It's not dirty, there's just a couple little items here and there, but I wanna get everything fully cleaned out and out the sink so I can start my prep work for the meal that I'm going to cook for the fam today. You guys, let me know how do you feel about cooking? Is it something that you just do just because you have to? Or do you genuinely enjoy cooking? That was one of my questions during my Q&A. And I can honestly say I truly enjoy cooking. Not only do I make meals just off the dome, but I'm always looking for different options for dinner also. That way the meals don't get... Um, redundant so i'm doing you know chicken salad meatloaf some seafood so definitely let me know how it is in your household if you're just cooking to cook or do you actually love cooking So I'm grabbing all of the seasonings that I'm going to be needing for this meal. Once I am done, I am now putting in the sausage. I literally probably did like two to possibly three capfuls of olive oil. The beef sausage is going to make its own oil, so I'm not trying to like drench it in oil whatsoever. But I also noticed that while putting everything in the pan that I needed a little bit more sausage. When I am making this seafood, I like everything to have its own texture and season and flavor. It just really helps to enhance the overall experience. And you guys know I'm all about an experience. Okay, all about it. So I'm going to saute the sausage until they get a little bit more brown and kind of crispy. But definitely not burnt. We don't want to burn anything. We just want to get it a nice, beautiful brown color. And once we get that color, we are going to remove it out of the pan. Now that we have it out of the pan, what I'm doing is adding in the shrimp. Again, I clean and deveined it, add a little bit of vinegar on it so it's smelling good. And nothing here was frozen, everything was purchased fresh. I am adding in onion powder, garlic powder, baria, a little bit of parsley, a tiny, and I do mean a tiny bit of curry powder. And then I have about two to three dash seasonings that have absolutely no salt. I'm adding in a little bit of Maggi. And for those of you that don't know what a Maggi is, it is a bouillon cube. And I'm just seasoning that up really, really nice. And I'm gonna go ahead and allow that to get a really nice color. And then I'm going to add in the lobster claw. You guys, this was good. Let me repeat to you again. This was really, really good. I don't know. I have to say, this meal is probably like neck and neck 
with the loaded uh, shrimp and grits that I made. <laughs> if you saw that video, ugh. if you didn't, I'll leave a card right here. That way, after this video, you guys can check it out. But that was really good, too. I made that last month. So this is the second seafood for the month. Once a month, we're doing a seafood dish. So if you guys have some ideas, let me know. So that way, we can create something. But I went on ahead and I added that butter. This is definitely a cheat meal. I wouldn't recommend all this butter. But you know... I need it to be good and creamy and buttery. So when I dip, baby, dip, it can be good. <laughs> now that everything is done, I'm going to go ahead and add the sausage. That way everything gets a good seasoning. And once the sausage is done, I am going to pour it out again. As you can see, everything is being cooked into one pot. So now that I've got the shrimp, the claw and the sausage done, I'm putting down the corn and I cut it in half because it's gonna allow the corn to cook a little bit faster. And I'm putting the corn on the outer part of the pot and then I'm gonna be putting that snow crab legs right in the middle so it can get really good and seasoned and cooked. That's gonna stay there for about seven minutes or so just so it can get um, some of that flavoring on there. You guys I am all about presentation so now it is time to plate I just got one of my little rubber made uh, bowls I'm packing in the rice making sure I get a really really nice shape my mom always said to me it doesn't matter how good the food is if the plate looks unappetizing no one's gonna want to eat it look at what happened when I took that lid off oh you guys this almost had a gumbo feel to it after I had this and I cleaned up I took me a good old hot shower and I was knocked out it was very very good there's somebody here on my channel who came over and had some I'm gonna tell you don't comment girl <laughs> Don't, don't comment girl they finna be mad at you don't comment okay don't say don't say what's good don't say nay and thing girl she came by and had a plate because i was live honey and she said nadia i'm coming over and she had a plate and you guys it was really really good like really good All right, you guys, this is dinner for tonight. 
let me know if you end up making this. This is definitely my cheat dinner because it's a lot of butter. It's a lot of butter. It's a lot of butter. All right, you guys. I have cinnamon. It's cinnamon sticks and cinnamon powder boiling to get. The house really doesn't have a fishy smell to it, but just to get the seafood out. So when I wake up in the morning, it doesn't smell like seafood has been cooked and then I opened up all the windows and the ceiling fan is on I also picked up some Glade clean linen I was trying to find the passion fruit they only had it in the candle I really do love it it smells really really nice but I got these for the boys room in their bathroom so I'm gonna do that I've had I've had their windows open for the past three hours with the ceiling fan because now they have a ceiling fan in their room so I'm happy about that. Today was today wasn't a, like a long day, but it became a long evening because I went grocery shopping, went to Lowe's, went to Home Depot, went to Walmart, and then I went to the grocery store, and then I went to Sam's, and then I came home. So I literally didn't get up out the bed and like get ready to start moving until two o'clock so once i got up i did not sit down so i've been up since two and it is now 10 o'clock so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna go ahead and go plug these up hope you guys enjoyed today's video so there isn't a recipe because i don't cook my recipes that's the most unfortunate thing ever because god forbid something happens to me like my kids won't ever be able to like cook anything I've ever made, which kind of sucks if you think about it. But I have seasonings, you know what I'm saying? So the seasoning definitely um, make it. And there's a lot of love, y'all. Like I literally was like, oh, I'm gonna make the boys some seafood, some this, some this, some this. And I had it on my heart to cook that um, today. So I think that that along, you know, the ancestors speaking to me, my heart. <laughs> The combination of Noah got to cook, it was just, it was, it was bound to be good. So, I hope you guys enjoyed every part of today's upload. I will see you guys next time. Please have an amazing night, all right? Have a good one. I'm about to go close the house down, all right? Good night.